Welcome to another video on Google Sheets. This will be an advanced tutorial and I'm going to show you some tricks for when you want to insert images into your spreadsheet. Now, first of all, let's start with the absolute basics. When you click on Insert and then go to Image, you can insert an image this way. You can upload, you can use a new URL, or you can even go into your Google Drive. But, when you use the menu to insert an image, what you are presented with is a floating image just like this. As you can see, this image is not linked to a cell, it's not linked to a column, not linked to a row. Now that is what I want, because I would like to create a list of different websites, each with their image at the start of my list. So I need an image linked to a cell. How can I do this? Simply by using the image function. So go to whichever cell, cell you want your image in, let's say D6 and type the following function equals image and then just as you would with HTML code you are going to put the URL of your hosted image close the quotation marks and press enter I now have my image linked to this cell what that means is I can simply drag this down and I will have multiple copies of this image this can be useful in some cases now another thing I can do is I can resize my row so let's say I want my row to be slightly bigger I now have a bigger image I can make it even bigger than, and my image comes down with the cell now that's not all you can do Within the image function, there are four different formats. This is format 1. Let's go back to our function and let's add comma 2. That's the second format. What this does is it makes sure that my image stretches as I change the size of my cell. Now in some cases this might be useful, in others not. So do think about what you want to use the images for before you decide on one of these four formats. Let's see what happens with format 3. Format 3 sticks to the original size. So it doesn't matter how big my cell gets, the original image was 100 pixels to 100 and that's the size it stays. I can also use format 4. Now format 4 needs some extra information. I need to add the actual size I want my image to be. So 4, comma, let's say 250 pixels to 250 pixels. Enter and my image gets stretched to exactly 250 to 250. I can also change this. Let's say I want 100 to 250 and then I will end up with a stretched image. I hope this was useful. If you have any questions leave them in the comment section below and if you found this video useful click the thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more videos. Thank you for watching.